Anyway, here are the results with the solid. If you remember earlier, I showed you the mass of the Wayne boat. What was that? And then the mass of the Wayne boat plus the Moore's salt. So that will give you the mass of Moore's salt that I added in there for my titration. The KMNO4 solution was 0 0.0200 moles per cubic decimeter. So that's a good within three significant figures. And then my rough titration here, um, I took 25 cubic centimeters of the Moore's salt solution. Um, Starting burette was zero, as you saw, ending burette 25.75 cubic centimeters. Then I did it a little bit more precisely, again, 25 cubic centimeters. Here, a burette started at five, just because I couldn't reach all the way up to zero, and I added enough to get up to 30.5. And then my second um, accurate or precise one went from zero to 25.8 cubic centimeters. Um, I personally spend a little bit more time on my rough measurement so I might if I wanted to use those data um, otherwise just use data points one and two. So we talked about the experiment we did the experiment in quotes you got the results now you can do the calculations to determine exactly what is the value of X in my sample of more salt which as I mentioned at the start may or may not be an unadulterated version of mole salt. Anyway, there are seven questions here. If you want to get one of those certificates, you upload the answers to this online answer sheet. It's a live link here. So if your teachers give you the PowerPoint that comes with this movie, you just have to click on that and uh, enter your answers. Failing that, then in the email I send to your teachers, I will include that link in there. So anyway, seven questions. First one. What is the average volume of KMNO4 solution added to the 25.0 cubic centimeters of more salt solution? Each titration I started with as precisely as possible, 25 cubic centimeters of the more salt. I added the potassium permanganate. You can either use all three of my titrations because my rough one was actually a pretty good rough one, or you can just use the two accurate ones, accurate being in quotes there. Uh, once you've got the volume, knowing that the concentration of the potassium permanganate solution was 0 0.0200, you can get the number of moles of potassium permanganate. You can then use the equation that is right at the start, how many moles of Fe2 plus will react with this many moles of KMnO4. Now, how many moles of Moore's salt does this correspond to? That's a very easy question because there's one Fe2 plus in each Moore's salt. Now, using my answer to four and the mass of Moore's salt measured in that step one, that's on the balance, and not falling into a little trap here, what's the molar mass of Moore's salt? This will be the calculation on which you're most likely to fall down. So you got the molar mass of more salt that includes when you weighed it out all the waters. So now you can calculate the value of X. And then as a final little one, I told you the burette was precise to plus or minus 0.05 cubic centimeters and the pipette was uh, precise to plus or minus 0.1 cubic centimeter. What are the upper and lower bounds of the answers to questions one and two, knowing the precision of the two bits of equipment that you used to measure things out? Anyway, hope this was fun. Hope to see lots and lots of entries through my online answer sheet. And any questions for this, ask your teachers and they will pass it on to me um, if, if they want to. So anyway, and I hope that as we get through the pandemic that your teachers will bring you to our labs to do some actual real live experiments. Goodbye.